Good morning. This is Bill from Auto Europa Naples on a muggy, miserable. I mean, the air isn't moving half a mile an hour. It's just not at all. It's still, there's 150% humidity. The mosquitoes are filling the air. Uh, it's like living in a swamp. So anyway, take that as a warning. Uh, you know, I know the Canadians and the Germans like to come down here in the summer. I really don't know what they're thinking. They must be out of their minds. Anyway, this is a 2012 Volkswagen EOS Comfort retractable folding hardtop convertible. Uh, this is the second generation of the car. It's a very good looking car, or it's not, depending on how you think about it. Uh, the front end of it is essentially Jetta, very, very similar, but of course that's corporate VW. The sides, not particularly styled up. There's a little beauty line above the door handle. Uh, nice, big, attractive uh, alloy wheels on the car. Very chunky looking mirrors. You know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so uh, some of you may look at this and kind of cough up in the back of your mouth other people look at it and say it's gorgeous so you know there it is depends on your perspective uh, this one is finished in a very nice uh, medium blue metallic it's got a cream beige interior that uh, is a very nice color combo that's a good looking wheels anyway let's have a look in the trunk i do like the little deck lid spoiler this thing has i presume it's uh, optional also getting a little bit of mist on this horrible Florida morning. Uh, that's cool. The way the uh, trunk release works, you push the top of the emblem. That's kind of neat stuff. Now, with the hard top down, you really don't get a ton of access to your cargo, although you do have better cargo than it appears. Uh, if you look in here, we've got the uh, floor mats, we've got the accessory windscreen, which is still with the car. Nice stuff. Over there is your uh, jacking tool, which frankly, I think VW could have done a better job figuring out how to stow. Uh, putting it in a styrofoam box kind of velcroed to the top of the trunk just seems to needlessly do away with some luggage space. So I hope that engineer got fired. Uh, anyway, top down, uh, you can reach in here, you can get to your stuff. Uh, this big partition moves, and when you release it, well, we'll get into that when the trunk's... Uh, when the top's up. But anyway, when you release it, the top won't work. Then you can fit a ton of stuff back here. But uh, if you want to put the top down, it's only whatever you can fit under this guy. Eos, the goddess of the dawn, I believe. I don't know if that makes this officially a girl car or not, but yeah, probably. Uh, anyway, I like the uh, twice pipes there coming out the left-hand side. I like the stout bumpers. I think they look nice. And uh, we'll have a look... Uh, I'm going to do it under the hood real quick. Now, these cars were priced, you know, in the $30,000 plus dollar range, which is maybe inexpensive for a folding hardtop convertible, but is kind of expensive for a, uh, you know, sort of an economy car, if you will. Uh, that said, Volkswagen makes up for it a little bit by putting this fantastic turbocharged 2-liter engine under the hood of the car. Uh, same one they use in the Audi A5, for instance. Audi VW been using this motor to uh, great success. Uh, variations of it for quite a while. Uh, puts out again about 200 horsepower, very advanced, direct injection, uh, you know, a nice peppy motor under the hood, precisely what you'll find in the GTI, by the way. So uh, you do get some oomph out of the car. Uh, anyway, you can see my detailer has everything nicely gooed up. So I'll take this back to him this morning and have him wipe it down again. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there. But uh, anyway, nice stuff under the hood. Okay, inside, uh, I think this is a very nicely appointed car and uh, very nicely designed. You see the door panels contrasting cream beige with uh, charcoal. Uh, here's your power window switches, your power lock. Uh, this is clever. This runs all four windows at once. You got your power mirror, your fuel and trunk release in a very nice and logical place. Uh, you know, some companies do put those in really stupid places. Uh, back here in the rear seats, you have a uh, pass through to the trunk. That's what that little door pull is there. If you pull that down, I'll try to do that one handed. Uh, there you can see 
goes right through to the trunk. So if you have big sniper rifles or, you know, baseball bats with spikes on them that just are, you know, too long, you can run them through that way. Maybe even a fishing rod if, you know, you're hungry. Uh, you also have some cup holders there. Uh, pretty good leg room. So if you have some Canadians to stuff back there, they're going to be okay. You get them to the restaurant, no problem. Might even get them to the next town over. So uh, pretty good stuff. I think there's also baby seat anchors if you're one of those people inclined to have children. Uh, the front seat's very nice, very supportive. It's got driver power, lovely. Uh, it also has airbags, as you can see. Uh, it's got the I won't be captive in the rear seats button. And uh, that is this thing here that your rear seat passengers can reach. Uh, they're sitting back there. You're thoughtless. You're crushing them at the knees. They'll be able to put their hand over there and move this guy forward and stuff you into the steering wheel. So you could have a real nice little war with that. All right, let's hop in. Fire this thing on. Okay, you see it fires right to life. Very, very nice stuff and uh, everything lovely. Now, I do like the way the door panels go into the dashboard. Nice swooping thing. Reminds me of an 80s Buick Riviera a little bit. Uh, but uh, anyway, nice design there. Uh, you can see, uh, well, what can you see? That goes all the way around to the other side. Lovely stuff. Uh, when the top is down, you see this pushed open. You push this guy and nothing happens. Ah, there it is. Uh, up comes this little top windscreen, which is kind of a manual version of the one you find on the SL550 uh, or the E350 Cabriolet. Actually, I don't know if the SL has it. Uh, anyway, what that does is really cuts down buffeting inside and wind noise. It means you can have a conversation at high speeds. And, uh, you know, if your wife's nagging on you, you're going to be able to hear every word she says, <clears throat> even at 80 miles an hour with the top down. So you may not want to deploy that. Uh, here you've got a, a very nice instrument cluster. You've got your uh, tack over there, you know, 6,000-ish shred line, your uh, water temp beneath, your driver information center in the middle. Uh, you've got your 160-mile-an-hour speedo to the right with your fuel gauge. And this thing does get pretty good fuel mileage. Uh, over here you have a Mercedes style uh, headlight switch on for once uh, once for on pull for fogs works pretty good <clears throat> okay uh, we got a multifunction steering wheel gives you voice command with Bluetooth uh, volume control you can answer the phone you can go through this little screen and change all the different stuff you want to change so all very proper uh, here you've got an in dash am fm cd media setup uh, also gives your satellite radio uh, your bluetooth connection uh, you can scroll through everything there and get it set up how you want it Let's see what we got this morning we have commercials Let's see what we got another station That's going to be offered with that comment. You can take them or leave them. Depends on your mood. Uh, you hear you've got automatic climate control, dual side, hot side, hot, cool side, cool. You got some heated seats. If you're a masochist, you can turn those on. Um, I guess if it's cold out, it's better. Uh, you got a great little compartment and 12 volt outlet. Of course, no ashtray. Those days are over. Nobody smokes anymore. Uh, you've got uh, traction control off over there. Uh, here's the controller, the uh, gear shift for that DSG. Uh, and uh, that is, uh, what the hell is that called? Double shift gearbox, something like that. Anyway, it is essentially a manual transmission that has been so beautifully uh, put together and computer controlled on its dual clutches that it behaves just like an automatic when you want it to. You never know uh, this is a manual. And the reason this thing exists is not just for sport. The shifts are instantaneous and lovely, but uh, to really get the uh, fuel mileage up. If you remember back in the old days, you know, like two three years ago if a car had a manual gearbox it got better fuel mileage ratings than a car with an automatic and uh, that always troubled the engineers particularly in the days of draconian cafe standards and other fuel mileage things that they have to have so what they did is create a manual transmission that would get the same uh, you know fuel well there it is create an automatic transmission that would create the uh, same fuel economy numbers as the manual while behaving you know very much like an automatic and they did it uh, there it is it works great pretty cool stuff uh, over here you got a glove box you got some books up there nice and uh, everything proper so so you what, let's run the top to do that you lift up on this giant u-shaped uh, uh, 
uh, switch there. You can see the trunk goes up from the rear. I'm gonna stop halfway to show you how that looks. Got kind of an origami thing going on as it unfolds. Very, very nice. Let's keep that going. Things coming for my head. All right, so everything comes into place, including this glass panel uh, sunroof, if you will. Up, okay, now you keep it held and all the windows go up. And if you want, you can slide this big shade forward and now you're completely sealed off from the sun. But just for a minute, we'll have a look at this. So you've got this big glass panel that if you run an inner switch, does go back. So now you've got a convertible top with a sunroof. God, this thing beeping is annoying me to death. Anyway, so uh, VW did market this as the only convertible with the sunroof, and you know, for all I know, they're still right. So let's have a look in the back. Okay, so now you get a much better view of the uh, size of the trunk. Uh, you see these two little grabby hooks here. They connect with these guys. You lift that up, do that, and now you have pretty decent cargo area. Even a set of golf clubs, whatever, you can lay it all across there. Uh, that said, the top will not go down. If you were somehow able to get it to start, it would crush everything and break into pieces. So don't even try. Uh, but uh, truly, with it disconnected there, the uh, computer locks it out and the top will not work. So uh, pretty decent uh, trunk space when you really need it. All right, let's get a little blessed air conditioning going and then go for a spin. that's not too noisy. I actually don't care if it's too noisy. I really don't. It's that muggy and miserable out here. Eventually I'll get my seatbelt on and we can take off. Alright. Is this on? This does not feel nice. Good lord. Alright. A little wave at the neighbors and away we go. There's that turbo kicking on. Uh, it really is a turbo that you can feel, very GTI-ish, you know? Um, when you hammer it, it spools up pretty quick, but when you're just leaving a light kind of slow, uh, there is this little turbo lag that kicks in that I find kind of cool. All of a sudden, uh, you know, you're moving forward a little quicker than you were a second ago, and ah, there's the turbo. So, kind of an interesting uh, drivetrain feel. Uh, it has struts up front, it has multi-link in the back, very good suspension nice and nimble, handles the corners well, uh, steering, nice light feel to it, uh, you can see plenty of pep there, with these instantaneous, you see the way the tack needle moves, I mean it is a very fast shift in this car. That air is now lovely. So uh, there it is. This is a 2012 Volkswagen EOS Comfort, goddess of the dawn, folding retractable hardtop convertible. Uh, it's got the GTI drivetrain. It's got very nice appointments and all trim levels. Uh, and uh, you know, even if it was an inexpensive folding hardtop convertible, uh, it was a pretty pricey little Volkswagen that shows. So uh, if you have an interest in this car, give us a call 239-649-7300 on the web at mercedesexpert.com. Thank you so much for having a look. We appreciate it. We'll see you with the next one.